the power of mind the power of mind ladies and gentlemen this is uh, something that we learned yesterday watching manchester city versus inter which was a match that every single every single one thought that you know manchester city is gonna gonna have a easy one five zero six zero even bail you know gareth bail before the match say what's your uh, prediction five zero for manchester city well, they just won 1-0 with the goal of Rodri and minus 68, but it wasn't that easy. That's why I believe that the power of mind, especially in, in football, it's something very, very, very important. Um, it is something that probably new fans, the new fans, football fans, they don't know. They just know the names. They just see a team that they have a lot of good players and they support, support it. But the motivation are different, okay? This is what I want to talk about tonight in this video. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the old Harro Sonero. Believer of this young AC Milan. Seven times European champions and 19 times champions, it Italian champions. Uh, yesterday I was watching Inter versus Manchester City big fan of manchester city of course from yesterday because as you can imagine you know uh if it was any other team i would be like maybe it's an italian team my inter specifically there is no way i don't care it's italian i don't care manchester city it's a plastic club i don't care uh, they are destroying football i don't care that the, all this is absolutely all correct until until they play against Inter. That this is my point of view as a AC Milan fan from Milan I tell you this I hate much more Inter than Juventus so yesterday I was happy and I'm still enjoying the fact that Inter lost and still enjoying it okay this is my irrational side the Milan side which is inside me and I have to tell you this also what is what is my rational side my rational side is telling me that that uh, I don't know if Inter actually ever deserved to to actually draw the match, okay? Because overall, I think Manchester City in the in 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 two half, I think overall it was the most dangerous team in ninety minutes. But I think the result it is correct one zero, nothing much, nothing more because Inter, however, really played an incredible match because. I strongly believe that the power of the mind of the player, they were like, you know what, who cares? We, we, we know we're going to die. We know we're going to lose. There's nothing that we can do. There's only one thing that can save us. If we play 200% of what we can do. And this is something I'm sure that, you know, if, I, if you are an Inter fan, I'm sure that's something that you appreciated a lot, watching your team fighting a lot. Really, really good. I was impressed by... I'm a very simple man. I I I, I look uh, I look at simple things. The defensively, defensively there was a Cherby that it, it seems like uh, really like uh, prime Thiago Silva. It was incredible. It was everywhere. Haaland didn't see one single ball. Very 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 good job. All the defense. Um, what's his name? Onana did a couple of, a couple of good save. I think I remember it was on uh, on Haaland. And another one on, on Foden, I remember. Onana was good as well. Uh, Acerbi did very good. Lautaro Martinez didn't see a ball. Jeko, Jeko, that's the other player that I saw that uh, he played really, really, really good because he was uh, in an incredible shape. Uh, I don't know if Inter is going to be able to... I know they have a lot, uh, almost have a billion of debts. I know that uh, they, a lot of these players, they're not sure if they're going to renew the contract and so on. I don't really know about what is going behind that. But clearly in the last 10-15 matches, they were probably the best Italian teams and one of the best ones in Europe as well, as well. They were really, really in good shape. And uh, they deserve against Milan to go through 100%. We were not playing well at all. So they deserve to go through, but also they deserve to lose it. That's it. As simple as that. I think uh, that their mind, the so the mind of the player, they were like, we don't have anything to lose. Let let just try to do our best, and they handled it. Manchester City really, really good, showing that the level of Serie A is actually not that far from Manchester from 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 Premier League, which is I love it. 
okay, which is very, very good. The other hand, I tell you that Manchester City, I felt like it was a little bit scary. They were, so not scary, they were a little bit scared, especially in the beginning, very slow passes. I don't know if it was because of the because of the heat of um, of Turkey, that sometimes when player goes in a warmer place to play football, they like everything, they, they play much more s s uh, slower. I also found that they were doing a lot of mistakes defensively. They didn't seem scary at all. The only differences in between Inter and uh, Manchester City last night, it was, it was the, um, the quality. As simple as that. Because... I think overall Inter had a couple of good chances, but if you don't take them, uh, that's it, end of the story. Manchester City just need one good solid ball. The, the goal of Rodri was very like uh, a penalty, right? Like a moving penalty was not really, but it was like uh, in the box, uh, the ball was coming slowly towards him. It was the same, it was 12, 13 meters. He kicked the ball with, with, with this side, not this side side he did it on this side boom pushing the ball inside beautiful goal beautiful goal beautiful action of, of Manchester City but that was it that was it uh, tonight last night this the the cup was won by uh, the team that had more quality players not the team that probably play play best that's what I'm saying all right other than that again I'm super happy that Inter Merda lost the um, lost the match because anyway, after watching what Manchester City did all year, they deserve the treble without any doubts. They are the best team in Europe right now, so deserve it. Congratulations. And uh, what, what else can we say, guys? Happy because Inter lost. Not happy because non-Italian teams won a, an actual cup this year. So uh, I think we still have some work to do.